All right, so hey guys, how you doing? Today we're gonna to go over about how to run videos in Session View in Ableton Live and how to sync them up to your audio. So say if you're running backing tracks um, and you actually wanna have lyrics go up in the front of the stage, um, so you'd basically, uh, when you run a video, you get a little pop-up like this, and if you have two screens or you have a, uh, another screen that you have in the front of your stage, you can run this over and it would be on the front of there. I don't have two, two video screens hooked up right now on the setup, so it's just gonna sit here and float on top, but you could actually run it off to the side and bring it out to the other video screen uh, at the front of your stage, run your lyrics, or say you might have a synced up a video for your background, you could actually run it over and run it to, your, to a projector and have it at the back. However you want, you can sync up your video and actually run it in session view, because it, it most Ableton users know, you know, you can run you can run a video over in in arrangement view over here. All you do is you put your clips in and drop your video on one of the audio tracks, and it'll pop up a little window like this, and you can see your video, and it it'll, it'll run. You can sync it up with your timeline or whatever like that. But it's a little harder to do in session view. But I'm going to show you how to create this right here. So we're going to play this. All right. So uh, this is a Katy Perry backing track. And so we don't get copyright infringement. I'm going to kill all the music and just have the the audio, the drums and the lead vocals for a second, just so you can see that the audio is synced up to the lyrics. So say if you weren't running um, uh, backing, I mean your vocals on the screen in front of you, so you can they pop up and appear like you see the big bands do it. Basically, this is how you do it. And so I'm going to click on this, let it play for a little bit. Can you hear the click? Here's the click. All right, so that's we're gonna we're gonna show you how to do that. It's all synced up, works perfect, and we're in session view. So a few things you're gonna need to get this done. Again, and this is all free. This is by the way, this is all free software that you can download, and I'm gonna have links in the description of where you can go download it at. You are gonna need Ableton uh, with um, with uh, Max for Live on it because this is actually a Max for Live plugin that these guys created and the version, you're gonna need at least max uh, 6.13 for Ableton, um, live nine or better. Um, and you, so if you have Ableton Suite, like live nine suite or better, you're golden. If you don't, you're gonna have to get uh, Max for Live, uh, which, you know, Ableton sells it separately on their site or you can download it somewhere online, but you're gonna need uh, 6.13 or better. So if you're, like I said, if you're on Ableton 10 suite, you're good, you're, you're good as gold. Okay, and um, the software, okay, so anyhow, this uh, software is by this company called uh, Visibal Vis or whatever. Um, anyhow, it's pretty cool, uh, free plug and you can donate here if you want. I'll leave this link in the description. Uh, basically all you do is just go over here and click download, and you're gonna download the file right here. It's gonna come in a zip file and uh, when it appears, you'll basically just unzip it. So um, here it is right here, I unzipped it. And, um, and here's the stuff. And then all you wanna do then from there is just take this file and just drag it over in your documents. I've already done it, so if I take it over to my documents, you can see it, it's right here. And then when you're in Ableton, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and I am going to, um, let me get rid of these. Okay, so we just opened a blank session of Ableton. I'm gonna go over here and click on your sidebar over here, and then just click on Add New Folder. I already have it in here, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. Just click on Add New Folder, and then uh, navigate to the folder it's in, which would be uh, My Documents, and then I would just click on right there and click Open, and it'll just add the folder right here. And then all we're gonna do is basically we're gonna go over and we're gonna put our backing tracks in. Okay, so what we need right now is we're gonna need one MIDI track, so get rid of that, and we're gonna need one audio track. And these are gonna be our video windows. We have to have this to make that plugin work um, in this mode. So I'm gonna rename this, I'm gonna rename this video. 
and I'm going to rename this audio channel video just so I know that these are my video channels. Uh, uh, and then right here, we're going to go over and get our backing track. So here's our Katy Perry backing tracks. And I'm just going to drag them over here and drop them in. I don't really care which way they go in because that's not the point. And I'm not going to drop them in my video line. Okay, so now we're going to add our plugins. Okay, so first off on the MIDI video track, we're going to go over here and grab view. We're going to uh, click on our little uh, visible and then we're going to grab the viewer. I'm going to drop that on our MIDI channel. Okay, and then our little video uh, pop, a little video viewer pops up. And then on the video track, and that we're going to go over to input and you want to take this clip player and put it on uh, the video track. But if we do that without adding a video clip in there first, it's going to change it to a MIDI track. So we don't want to do that. So we're going to go over and grab our MIDI, our, our video track, which my video track with the text is right here. And we're going to drag it up and drop it on the video viewfinder. It's going to give this little error and we're going to say, okay, we don't care. Um, and then I'm going to click back on the video thing and I'm going to grab uh, over here to input folder and I grab the clip player and I drag it onto that track. So now we have the clip player on that track. Now we need to delete that video clip um, and we need to sync it so it, it's the same length as our music. If it's not the same exact length as our backing tracks, it's not going to work. Okay, so now that we've got our backing tracks and then we got everything set up with the plugins, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we rename uh, the song title over here. So uh, I'm not going to name it song title, I'm just going to put the BPM in there, which the BPM for this song is 124, 24 BPM. I would normally actually would do is I'd name this like uh, Firework, Firework 124 BPM. And the reason being is that now if I click on that, it'll change my BPM up here to 124. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to make sure give it an eight count cl click for four for our drummer to hear, four for him to count in. These already have it, but I'll kind of show you the idea how we do that. So I'll go over here, I'll grab the first clip, and then I'll go all the way over here and hold shift down and grab the last clip. And then I wanna make sure I put it, drop it on the same audio three, five, uh, three track on the other side. So I'm gonna hold these down. Now that I have them all highlighted, I'm gonna hold it down with my mouse and I'm gonna hit tab key, it's gonna switch you over here, and then I wanna drop that onto my Audio 3 track, because that's where I'm grabbing it from on the other screen. Now everything lines up good. Now I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna enable this side. Boom, and you can see, right here I already have my click lined up, but usually when you get these, they're probably gonna look a little more like, you know, this or whatever, and basically all you do is just copy the first four tracks, copy them over there. You might have to line up on the grid. I have other tutorials that show you how to do that, but basically that's how you get the, the eight in, okay? All right, so now we're gonna bring our video clip in. So we're gonna grab our video clip that's not the same length as this, so it's main video clip. And grab that, and we are going to bring that in. We do that, Ableton will automatically pop up a video box here. And see, there you go. And now, so now you got your tracks lined up and your click added and your video is in there. You can pull off the front part of the video if you want, but what you need to do is you need to make the video as long as the audio clips. Uh, otherwise, they won't sync up when you go back over here and you put them into the video viewer on this side. So you can't just, um, on these right here, what we're gonna do is we're going to go over and we're going to click on the top one and then uh, right over here, the, the, four, the, uh, the two bars we just added, we're gonna scroll all the way down, hold shift and click on the bottom one. It'll highlight all those and it will give us space over here. Don't touch the video clip even though they're lined up, don't touch it. Then just right click, go on the, on the, on the top bar, um, like any of these audio, don't, don't go on the grid, just go on the top, big blue or big red or whatever, the big color bar right there, right click, 
uh, or two finger clicks on a, on a laptop, on a MacBook. But uh, right click, you just go down here and click on consolidate. Now it's going to consolidate all those and make those all the same length and put them together. And that way, now you have your eight count in, you know, four uh, clicks for the drummer, four clicks for the drummer to click off for you or the band. And then in order to get this, the same length of these, what we need to do is, is click on this and it can actually just hold shift down and click on that. Now they're all the exact same length, but you can't consolidate that. Otherwise it'll make this an audio clip instead of a video clip. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to file and we're going to go to export audio video. And right down here, um, we are going to click on video and we're going to click on and we want that quick time. If you want, we can click on edit it and change what it's going to be. Uh, let's look at the settings. So H.264, that's great. That's what we want. 24 frames. Perfect. Good, good, good. Um, if you did it yourself, if your frame rate's different, say if you did it at 30 frames, just change that. But right now, that's this is all good for us. So we're going to click Save. OK. And now we are going to, you can leave all the audio on or just, you know, solo uh, the video track if there's audio on that, as long as it stays lined up on there. We're going to click Export. And I am going to just export that to, let me just go to my Downloads folder. Actually, I just click Export it desktop for right now. So we're going to make that uh, firework. Oh, I spelled it wrong, but I don't care. Anyhow, um, and click export, let that export. And then it's going to take a little while. And when it gets done exporting, then I'll come back on and we will go on to the next step. All right, so we'll see you in a bit. All right, now we got our video lined up, the same length our audio tracks are, and we consolidated all of our audio tracks, so they're all the same length as our video track, and the click has eight count-ins. We're going to highlight all these tracks on this side, which basically you, top, you click the top track, scroll to the bottom, hold shift down and click on that, hit the tab key, and then pull them right back over and drop them back on audio three. So they all line back up again. And now we're going to go get our video clip and add it to our video. So let's go over here and we'll find the video clip we just ran off. Here's, here it is. And now we'll drag it and drop it back again, back onto the video. Uh, now, now we'll drag it back onto the same video track that we created that we deleted the original one from. All right. It's going to give us this pop up again. We're going to say, okay. And then we got to do is got to go over here to the MIDI video, click on the MIDI video. And uh, when you click on that, we want to go over here to this little drop down and take it from auto and pull that down and click it on clip player. That way it's telling it to read what's ever on this video track. So this video is me playing. This is what our video player is right here. All right. And then, uh, we can take this and we're going to change this from the 320 and we're going to make that because our video is actually 1280, uh, 1280 by 720. We're going to go boom, make that. And then now if you have a, when you have your second screen hooked up, you can just drag this over and put it over on the other screen. And then you just go down here and you click on full screen right here and it'll make, it'll make the video, uh, right now our video is black, but it would make that video full screen. I'm going to hit escape and it'll bring it back down. So now if I hit play, let me go through and mute. I want to mute some of these so I don't get a uh, copyright infringement. So on your video track too, you also want to mute the audio. So just click that, it'll mute the audio. And just so copyright infringement, I don't want to be playing our music. So I'm just going to have her lyrics and the drums be going, her lyrics and a click going. Uh, but all right, so you can see here's the thing. I'm going to click play. Now you can see that all the audio is synced up to the video. If I go over here and I click on the video channel, um, actually if I click on that channel, 
on the on the MIDI video channel and click full screen. So now it's all full screen. So when you move it over to your other monitor, it's full screen. Hit escape. All right. Okay, so that's how you put video in Session View in Ableton. So if you want to run your own lyrics in a screen, or if you just want a bunch of cool guy videos going in the background, or maybe you want to have the whole show synced up to a certain video, and you want to play it in time, that's how you can do it in Session View. Okay, also guys, when you get over there to download this thing, you can actually, there's, they have some tutorials too. So if you're a video DJ and you're actually DJing in Ableton with this same plugin, uh, they have a lot of cool effects and you'll find those in the effects folder uh, inside your uh, visible 2.1.1. Anyhow, and, uh, but if you look on their website, they have a bunch of cool tutorials about how to use the effects and you can MIDI map those effects to all of your uh, controllers and whatever like that. And you actually have a lot of fun just video DJing with all the cool effects they have in there. So anyway, make sure you check that out. That's not what this video is totally about. This video is more for like lyrics and uh, syncing up video in your background and doing that kind of thing. But their effects plugin that they actually do, um, and it's all free, uh, are really cool if you're into that kind of stuff. So make sure when you go download it and check it out that you um, also check out all their effects they have. All right. So anyhow. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and we will see you next time. Action!